Welcome back for the next instalment on our Godzilla journey with Frank from Danny Engines. We've got Nads from Fuel Tech and we're in the Harrop Mainline Pro Hub cell. Frank, it's great to have the XA finally revealed. Our last session was on your engine dyno, made 1300 plus horsepower. Yep. And now we've got our debut of the XA first time on the chassis dyno. Yeah, to have this great facility where we can bring the car and physically test the whole combination from the dyno is like uh, on the dyno is one thing. Once we put it in the car, the fuel system's different. It, it's functioning as it's going to function at the track. So it's a, a perfect opportunity to go through those motions. We're in a controlled environment, so there's less that can go wrong. And we can make sure that everything's going to be 100% before we go to the track. One of the awesome things is how original the car is, but there's a huge amount of work that's gone into engine packaging and driveline. So run us through it. So basically, yeah, we, we had to get an oil pan made, which is a front sump. These engines come out with a rear sump. So that was one of the, the first hurdles. Thanks to Clayton for making a, an oil pump bracket that allows us to run an oil pump on the uh, external side of the engine. And then we went for a turbo 400 transmission, which we feel is strong. Then the car still ma maintains a nine inch rear end, which most of these cars do have. We want to run a small radial tire and up to a 275. And, and you've got plenty of experience with... Yes, that. yeah, I've, yeah. we do have a bit of experience with 275 tires and we just thought we'd see how fast we could go. Yep. You know, it's easy with turbos. We can just keep making boosts. We've got to remember we're, we're limited to how much boost we can make mm. and for the amount of power we're making, it's quite impressive. Yeah, I think it's going to be exciting for the next chapter when we get it on track. Uh, we discovered a couple of little things being the first time on the dyno. So we've made a billet throttle body adapter. Clayton's put that together this week to face the throttle body forward. Obviously Correct. in the trucks, it's on that angle. We've got the bell mouth on them to run it. It's a driver too. Like this is, yeah. not, this is not a trailer yeah. to the track, race it and... Look, you know, yes, for the dyno, we have that on there. But, you know, at the racetrack, we will have something similar on there. Um, we're trying to extract as much power as we can at the racetrack. So... But on the street, it runs a, you know, a pod and it's got an air cleaner on it like any other car and, and it drives so nice. Let's give it a run on the dyno and I can't wait to see it get on track. Well, I'm going to run it through the gears and simulate a quarter mile pass. All and right. let's see if it can outrun an LS. We might even set a new record on the dyno for this room. I'm going to try. Try. 